what is going on guys welcome back to the channel my name is miguel you're watching miguel edc the channel where we talk everything edc gear here and today i have another quick unboxing video for you guys quick unboxing reactions first impressions video that i want to share with you guys i have no clue what knife is in here i know i'm getting this knife via a pass around so i'll give you more details as soon as we get in the box of course you probably already have a hint based on the title and thumbnail Doing the honors today, we have the Vosteed Kurgi Pop. Man, I've just been having a blast with this knife. For whatever reason, it's just a fun EDC knife. It's uh, small enough where it's just so easy to carry everywhere. Super fidgety where, you know, it's just super nice to just kind of fidget around with it. And, you know, super, super sharp and usable S35VN blade. So definitely carrying this one for an upcoming review video. And, of course, this knife and every other knife that you see in the channel in this video will be linked down below for you guys to check it out. If you're interested, of course, it does help out the channel when you use those links, but that is entirely up to you. Without further ado, let's go ahead and open this one, I believe. This one comes to me via, we'll find out as soon as we go in there. <laughs> let's make a quick cut here. There we go. Another quick cut over there. Boom. And then one more cut right here. All right, let's see. Okay, we got a few more. Cut there, cut here, and I think we should be good to go. All right, let's see, let's see. Package opening 101. All right, let's see what we have in here. Is it one knife? Is it more than one knife? We're about to find out. I am totally not trying to destroy this box. So we're trying to help Mother Nature here by recycling some boxes if we can. But uh, we have not one but two we have two knives to check out on this video you guys let's go ahead and take a look all right what kind of knives are these these are a brand new uh kind of knife that we haven't checked out in the channel just yet the arc form all right take a look there for yourself again debut here in the channel for the first time and oh <laughs> is this how they open all right let me take out the sleeve here i guess we got two we'll go ahead and go with this one first so you know, magnetic little pop right here and there tools with intent arc form exists as a creative outlet for a band of knife industry veterans all right let's see what we got here without further ado boom check out this thing we're gonna take a look at that in a second little foam layer two foam layers three foam layers <laughs> and then we got an arc form sticker way at the bottom right there check that out let's put all these layers back in here all right a little bit of a bubble wrap right there to avoid any shaking of course this knife comes to me via the lefty edc knife pass around so shout out to kevin aka lefty edc check out his channel if you haven't already he also makes knife and ec content like this and you will not be disappointed so check him out all right so first impressions uh what do we have going on here is this titanium handles all right titanium handles going on on this bad boy blacked out titanium we have a frame lock deep pocket carry clip which doesn't seem to be reversible. Very nice backspacer here in gray. A little bit of contrast to the black. I like that. It looks like we have some, what seems to look like thumb studs, but in a different shape or geometry to them. And yeah, thumb deployment and reverse flick are the deployment options. So let's go ahead and get this thing open here, shall we? Here we go. Boom, check that out. All right, we have a nice, what you would call this, uh, drop point blade, sheep's foot blade. All right, get the blade police out here. I'll call it a drop point. We'll roll with that sheep's foot, maybe one of the two, or whichever one you want to make. <laughs> you want to make up. It's up to you. But that is what we got going on on this one. Blacked out blade. Give it a nice little wipe right here, so it is ready and presentable. Boom! Look at that. So black coated. We have us billboarding. We have the logo right here, the capital A logo there. It says Arc Form. A little bit overkill, if you ask me. If you're gonna have the logo, then why also have Arc Form? or vice versa. Uh, at least on the other side, we only have M390 steel printed on the blade, so that's good. Nothing too, too crazy. It is a frame lock, right? Good access to the frame lock here from this side, All right? Check that out. And pretty drop shotty for the most part, All right? This guy is on ball bearings, it looks like. Stub pin right there, and again, here's that backspacer that wraps all the way around, covers you from the tip of the blade there, which is pretty interesting, kind of like this triangular button here of the knife, which is interesting. Nice contouring all around in the handles. That's pretty nice. And the pivot is a little bit off-center, right? So it's a little bit lower down on the handle, 
because the blade does take out a significant amount, right? So that's something that comes to mind that I noticed right away. All right, pocket clip has good, good tension to it. It's gonna be about this much deep carry, if you will, which is not bad. It allows you to pinch and pull. It's not gonna be the most deep carry knife out there, but it gets the job done for sure. So let's get, let's get that de deployment going a couple of times. All right, definitely the thumb deployment is pretty good, right? And you should have enough access to the thumb stud in the back here. Boom, for that reverse flick, spidey flick, if you will. So two ways, two ways of doing it. You could just put your fingernail right behind the thumb stud like that, All right? That's one way, or you could use the meat of your middle finger and maybe do a little push like that as well. My favorite of those two, definitely the first one, right? Using the, anytime I get a chance to kind of sink the side of the nail like that on a thumb stud, that is the way to go for me, my preferred way. Uh, a little bit of uh, what seems to be like a finger choil, but it's a little bit on the smaller side right here. So, uh, okay, first of all, the standard hammer grip right here feels good and comfortable in the hand. I have medium hands, not the biggest, not the smallest. Right, and if I forward choke, I guess you could forward choke, but it does feel a little bit uncomfortable because it's not big enough for my whole finger. So like half of my index finger is still hitting this uh, peak right here. I'm not sure what the thought process was there, if it was meant to be a finger choil or not. It's a little bit on the smaller side for a finger choil, if you ask me. Uh, plunge grind is about right here, so you can get quite a few sharpens out of it. Uh, but you will kind of get a smile eventually it looks like and again This is just first impressions, you know with the knife coming out of the box All right, one of my first thoughts good action by the way, so love the acoustics. All right sounds good. Let's take a listen All right different sound for that reverse flick versus the thumb deployment all right, and uh, to check this out, you have you have the stress uh, relief cut out right here for the frame lock on the inside, which makes it nice and elegant right here on the lock bar, which is neat, all right? Attention to detail right there, kind of making that design pretty flush. I must say this knife makes a pretty good, like all murdered out aesthetics, except with the, you know, uh, gray titanium pocket clip. And of course that gray backspacer, so a nice little pop of contrast right there. The thumb studs, are they titanium? They feel like they are titanium. The only direct pull I get is from the blade itself or the screw on this side. Actually, the hardware is titanium too. All right, there's a steel lock bar on the other side of that. By the way, steel uh, lock bar insert, sorry, that's what I meant to say. Steel lock bar insert for steel on steel contact, All right? Gives you, uh, gives you a lock bar. Uh, locking mechanism more longevity over time as compared to titanium on steel contact right so action is great check out the jimping right here both on the handle and on the spine of the blade there it gives you a good purchase right and again I, I can tell you this feels I get this pocket clip right here man like a good 9 9.5 out of 10 that's how comfortable that feels ergonomically speaking right and the handle does start a little bit on the slimmer side kind of gets a little bit thicker towards the end and that just helps you make sure that that knife is locked in that is not going anywhere right nice lock up jimping is solid and yeah i can see this thing putting some good work the tip right there is actually lined up with the pivot right for the most part so that's pretty solid so great action making a great first impression you guys this knife here the detent right so check it out good detent right there all right also locking the blade in that's uh sorry the lock bar but this is the detent all right pretty solid pretty neat all right, so this is some size comparisons just to kind of see where this guy lands. Here are the usual, all right, PM2. It's gonna be a little bit bigger, but not by much. Here is your pair of three. So it'll be, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. All right, take a look there for yourself. Here's the Demco 8020.5 and the smaller brother, the Shark Cub. All right, check them out right there. Both 20 CV, one with titanium handles, the other one with aluminum handles. And yes, the arc form, by the way, I'm not entirely sure what the model name is on this one, but I'll probably, I'll definitely put it in the title. It doesn't say it anywhere on the knife itself. All right, definitely the arc form knife is gonna be a little bit bigger. 
All right, let's try something a little bit on the larger category. There's the Civivi Sentinel Strike and the Civivi Vision FG, right? So a little bit bigger than the FG, but definitely shorter than the Sentinel Strike. Take a look at that. And here's the CJRB Pyrite Alt and the Vosti Raccoon, right? Both very popular budget knives from last year. Check them out. All right, and both of them are gonna be a little bit smaller than the arc form all right so definitely we're working with a large knife it's definitely earned itself the large knife category all right and let's check how sharp is this thing i don't see any dings or anything on the blade itself and of course this is a used knife it's not a brand new knife by any stretch of the imagination the folks over at the youtube pass around knife pass around half uh definitely you know giving it some use so let's just get a first few slices in here all right so check that out <laughs> some beautiful swirls going on there so you know it's going to cut by the way it does have a flag line up until that line right there which you can see so it is going to be a slicey one and there you go check that out so very scientific method right <laughs> of course paper cutting is not really going to prove much but at least i'm showing you uh some sort of cord cutting of some sort here's a single wall piece of cardboard as well right remember when cutting cardboard don't cut perpendicular but rather at a diagonal angle it's going to look something like this all right kind of cut right there a little bit but yeah boom it's gonna be really good for cardboard cutting i'll tell you that much yeah, so you guys rate it on a scale from 1 through 10, right? How sharp is this guy? And keep in mind, right, it has already seen some use. So it's not like it's sharp out of the box or anything, but it seems that it is holding actually a pretty good edge so far. Well, there you have it, guys. There is the Arc Form Theory premium folder here, titanium handles, frame lock. We have M390 on the blade. Again, a quick unboxing and first impressions video. You just saw me take it out of the box there. Uh, my first time seeing the knife. So obviously I have to carry it. I have to kind of get a feel for the knife before I drop a comprehensive review. This video is not the review. This is just an unboxing and quick first impressions. After I carry the knife for a while, I'll be dropping that review video here in the channel for you guys to check it out. So if you aren't already subscribed, this will be a great time to make sure you subscribe to the channel for more reviews and unboxing videos like these coming up all the time. I try to post on a daily basis. Also go ahead and give this video a huge thumbs up if you haven't already, it does help the video with the YouTube algorithm. And if you wanna support the channel a step further, there's a link down below for Patreon, or you can simply support the channel right here on YouTube by becoming a family member. That being said, of course, guys, this knife is linked down below. Again, <clears throat> you can check out prices, details, availability for this knife through those links, right? Those are affiliate links. It does help out the channel if you end up buying a knife through those links, but that is entirely up to you and at zero extra cost. So really will be appreciated. If you made it to the very end, you guys are the real MVPs. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. There's more of these uh, amazing content where this one came from. So I'm gonna leave two I'm gonna leave two suggestions for you right here on the screen, whichever one you wanna go ahead and watch next. Guys, take care, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.